So let's start, shall we? Yep. So no I'm sure you all know this guy. This is Chris. Hello, everybody. Chris from uh, Chris C V Chris E V uh, Trips. Ah, uh, something like that. Yeah. So my YouTube. Yeah. What is it? Chris? Look, to be honest, when I took the Dolphin for for a drive, I was amazed. I thought, wow, this car. It's lighter than the Ado Three. Got the same amount of power. With a lighter car, the brakes work better. With a lighter car, it handles better. And to be honest, I kind of felt like I was in a go kart. It was like really good handling, really good driving car. And I thought, wow, I thought this car was for girls because having pink colours and all that. I thought this is a real girls' car. But this thing, that that's a fast car. There's if if the other three could do seven seconds, this thing's way faster than that. So I I, I wouldn't. I, I I bet you we see people doing six point five seconds in those cars because they're not slow. That's well, a fast well, car. Well, the published auto to one hundred is seven point six. No, it's not yeah. right, is it? Oh well, no. well, well, I don't know. I, let, I, let's I see people. Let's see what people get out of this car. But when I was driving a car, it was much faster than the Addo Three. I, I felt it was. I drove drove to the dealer in Addo Three. I knew exactly how the Addo Three felt. Drove out of a Dolphin, and then I would have given them my money because it was such a good drive. <laughs> so, yeah, do you reckon that the Dolphin? Would it zero to one hundred faster than than the Addo three? The Addo three is supposed to be seven point three, so you reckon it's going to do it better than seven point three? So why don't we go and tr try it? <laughs> it's gone already. Okay, so we're going to go and try it now. Race driver I am. <laughs> I knew it was quick. So the published uh, zero to one hundred of the Atto three is seven point three seconds, and um, and we did it in the Dolphin in seven point one. Um, so you, okay, you win. Lots of water there. Yeah. So uh, speaking of that as a six foot four person. Yeah. Look, I was comfortable in the car. To, to be honest. You, what about getting in and out? Yeah, no problems at all. It's the seal. So it's actually easier than the seal. Oh, yeah, miles easier than to seal, yeah. Okay, so Chris has gone to explore the sites of the Gold Coast and what I'm going to do now is compare the difference between the Addo 3 and the Dolphin's uh, user interface. So as you know, I've done a lot of videos on how to use in user interface of the Addo 3 and, um, and what I need to know is what's the difference between the Addo 3 and what's the Dolphin, difference with the Dolphin. Um, so that I can make videos on those differences. Um, so the first thing I need to know is what are the differences and, and where it's not different, um, those with a uh, dolphin can go to my videos on the Addo 3 and, and watch, um, watch those because they're identical. But if there is a, um, a difference, then I'll do a video on that. So um, well, let's have a look. Put on the brake, turn on the button just here. In the vid, sorry, you can move you can move the apps around the same as the video. Um, so all that's the same. All the apps are the same, I think. Let's, um, let's have a look. BYD Assistant. That's what you use to to um, to find out what you can do with the BYD Assistant, and also to turn it on and off. You got your phone, your radio, your music, navigation, album. Yeah, all pretty much the same. Um, let's have a look at the tools. Yep, they're all exactly the same. Settings, smart charging's the same. Uh, variety from user manual. Now that's interesting. Um, the Addo 3 does not have the um, user manual. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, you've got to be connected to the, um, the web. I'd imagine that the user manual is the same as the uh, user manual you get on the PDF. You've got BDY, uh, BYD store. Uh, okay. Now that's interesting. I haven't seen B... It's an unusual name, BYD store. I wonder where that comes from. Um, I didn't know that was there. Anyway. So all the apps seem to be identical. Um, okay, so let's have a look now at the car. Okay, the internet 
it's all the same. The audio is all the same. So you, as you'll find out in the other video, you can adjust all the volumes. Display, you can um, have the dark mode, which I don't like, but you might. Um, <clears throat> what else is there? Dashboard brightness regulation. That's all, that's all pretty normal. Oh, sorry. That's all pretty much the same as the Atto 3. That's all the same. Uh, the apps and storage. Tunnel storage, that's the same. Okay, we'll just go back to the apps for a sec. Permissions disable auto start. Okay, that's all the same. Automatic time sync, that's what you of it. That's what you do to make sure you got the right time. Um, this is your default uh, language, which I go into there. This is the ability to turn your Android keyboard on and off if you've if you've installed a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, user agreement, open source. Tech. That's pretty much all the same. Um, let's have a look in uh, Intelligent Cruise Control on. That's the same. Child presence detection. I haven't seen that before. Well, that's interesting. If you if you forget <laughs> if you forget your child, it'll tell you. Oh, that's really important. Um, oh. Okay, so <clears throat> what this does is, is if, you're, if you're losing your attention, if you're falling asleep, it will um, warn you with a bit. Um, you can turn that off. Uh, active safety, all the same. Parking assistance, the same. New energy, the same. Vehicle settings, smart strategy, that's the same. Lights, same, same. Same, same. Same. So you can turn the speed warning off. Um, I've got the speed warning off in this one, but it's still giving me a bit whenever I'm going over the speed limit, um, which I don't normally do, but around the parking here, um, it's a 10 kilometre zone and it's not hard to, to do 12 kilometres, so you're getting bipped all the time. Um, well, this is an interesting one, towing function. Automatic indicator detection for towing. Activate the automatic indicator detection system. Um, you need to read the manual to see what that's all about. Okay, so that's pretty much all the same. Vehicle health, that's the same. Overhaul, that's the same. Vehicle information, that's the same. Okay, now there is a function that you can do, which is to pull this down. And you've got other ones. You've got vehicle control, that, that, that's all much the same. Okay, so that is all the same. Um, so it's, well, all I can say is pr it's pretty much the same. Um, there, are two, there are two differences that I know of. One is a serious one, and that is that the, the ability to be able to side load, side load apps, like load... Um, uh, Chrome and all that, they seem to have turned it off. I've, I'll do more work to find out um, how you do it on the on the Dolphin, but it looks like they've got that turned off on the Dolphin. Um, 
Yeah, that's not good. They they say they do it for um, safety reasons, but there's the only safety issue I would imagine, um, because the apps the apps cannot affect the operating system of Android. Um, Android operating system is set up that 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 just can't happen. You've actually got to you've actually got to get into the operating system itself, and the side loading apps won't allow you to do that. So that's that's not right. The, the issue would be if you were watching a video while you're driving, um, and that is a, that is a problem. Um, I don't know that the the big brother needs to make sure you don't do that. Um, and you, you know you can you can have um, you know your attention from driving can be um, deviated from from you uh, just trying to use a nav app, trying to turn off highway. Um, anyway, so I think that's a bit of a furphy. Um, the other issue, or not the issue, the other difference I've found is this. 55 centimetres, so it's actually telling you how many centimetres you are, are away from the object. That's annoying, isn't it? I'll just, I'll just go back a bit. And <clears throat> so it gives you the measurements from here and here and here and here, but not the front and the back. So the, the measurements from the front to the object and the rear to the object's not shown, but um, on the side, side it is. Okay, so um, just to summarize, the, um, the Dolphin is faster zero to 100 than the um, 803, which is to be expected, I suppose, because it's a same motor, same, same battery, um, a, a lighter body. Um, it's it's um, whilst it's smaller, it's it, it's it's still got a good size for door openings, getting in and out, and seating arrangements. Um, so it might have it's got less space in the boot, of course, less room in the back, um, but certainly a lot of room in the back. Um, the um, the user interface uh, for the uh, uh, infotainment computer screen. Um, is, is virtually identical to the 803, so um, by all means, my videos for the 803 inf uh, uh, Infotech um, computer system is the same, or pretty yeah, it's the same. Um, the disappointing um, part of it is um, that you can't sideload apps, so you can't have Chrome and all that running. However, I will try and work out how to do it, and if I can find a way, I'll let you know. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and um, catch you later.